Hello and welcome to my Home Tuition's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to explore an exciting topic in probability called the binomial distributions. This concept is essential for understanding how probabilities work in real life situations. We will also discuss using the Casio FX 570EX class reach calculator to find the probabilities of binomial distributions. This video is sponsored by Casio Malaysia. First, let's discuss what binomial distribution is. In probability theory, a binomial distribution helps us understand the likelihood of a specific outcome occurring in the fixed numbers of trials, when each trial has only two possible outcomes. These two outcomes are usually labeled as success and failure, and the probabilities of success is the same for each trial. Let's explore an example here. Imagine you are flipping a fair coin three times. The coin has two sides, head and tail. The probabilities of getting head is 0.5 and the probabilities of getting tail is also 0.5. In this example, getting heads can be considered a success while getting tail is a failure, let's say. So how can we use the binomial distributions to understand this situation? To work with a binomial distributions, we use the formula p x equal to r equals to n c r p to the power of r q to the power of n minus r, where p equals to r is the probabilities of exactly r successes in n trials. The n c r, or we read it as n choose r, is the number of combinations of n things taken r at a time. n is the number of trials r is the number of successes, p is the probabilities of success in a single trial, and q is the probabilities of failure in a single trial. In this coin tools example, n equal to 3 because we make 3 flips coin, and p, the probabilities of getting hit is equal to 0.5. Let's find the probabilities of getting exactly 2 hits, where r equal to 2, in our 3 coin flips. Yep. So we write this as p x equal to 2 because we would like to find the probabilities to get 2 heads. Eh? And then equal to 3c2 because we make 3 trials and 2 success. And then bracket 0 0.5. So this is the probabilities of success. And then square. And then times 0 0.5. This is the probabilities of failure. And then to the power of 3 minus 2. First, we need to find 3c2. This can be found by using the calculator, and this is equal to 3. Now we can plug the values into the formula. px equal to 2 equals to 3 times 0 0.5 squared times 0 0.5 to the power of 3 minus 2. Therefore, px equal to 2 equals to 0 0.375. So the probabilities of getting exactly two hits in three coins flips is 0.375 or 37.5%. Now let's see this example. This is past exam questions 2015 paper 2 question 10a. So the probabilities of a student cycles to school is P. A sample of five students is selected at random. So in this case, the probabilities of success is equal to p. The probabilities of failure is not given, but we know that the probabilities of failure q is equal to 1 minus p. And then a sample of 5 students is selected, which means the n equals to 5. If the probabilities of all 5 students cycle to school is 0 0.16807, which means r is also equal to 5 because all 5 students cycle to school. So the probabilities of success all five students cycle to school p x equals to five and this is equals to 0 0.16807 so these are the informations from the questions and one they would like us to find the values of p so we know that p x equals to r is equals to n c r and then the probabilities of success p to the power of r and the probabilities of failure q and then n minus r in our case uh we would like to find p x equals to 
5 and then the n equals to 5 because we have a sample of 5 students so 5 c and then so all 5 students cycle to school so the number of success is also 5 the probabilities of success is p and this is what we want to find and r is equal to 5 and q is 1 minus p okay and this is 5 minus 5 p x equals to 5 is 0 0.16807 so 0 0.16807 uh, 5 c 5 is equals to 1 so p to the power of 5 and uh, 1 minus p to the power of 5 minus 5 5 minus 5 equals to 0 and anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so therefore p to the power of 5 is equal to 0 0.16807 Seven, so p equals to the fifth root of zero point one six eight zero seven, and by using the calculators, you will find that the answer is equals to zero point seven. Okay. Now let's continue with question two. Find the probability that more than three students cycle to schools. So uh, we would like to find the probabilities where. Uh, x is more than 3 x is more than 3 so x is more than 3 is equal to uh, when we have four students cycle to school plus the probabilities that we have five students uh, cycles to school so more than 3 we have 4 and 5 uh, p x equals to 5 is already given this is 0 0.16807 so now we need to find uh, the probabilities where only four students cycle to school so p x equal to four is equal to five c four the probabilities of success just, just now in question one we learned that the probabilities of success is equal to 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 to the power of four and then uh, probabilities of failure is equals to one minus 0 0.7 which is equals to 0 0.3 and then to the power of 5 minus 4 okay so uh, 5c4 is equals to 5 0 0.7 to the power of 4 is equal to 0 0.2401 and then so 0 0.3 to the power of 1 equals to 0 0.3 so this is equal to 0 0.36 Zero one five. So therefore, p x greater than three is equals to zero point three six zero one five plus the probability is x equal to five, which is zero point one six eight zero seven. So therefore, this is equal to zero point five two eight eight. So uh, this is the probabilities where more than three students cycle to school. Now let's use the calculators to verify our answer. So in the Casio FX570EX calculators, go to the menu and then uh, go to the distributions. That is mode seven. And under mode seven, we have binomial PD and also uh, binomial CD. So uh, in this case, we use binomial PD. Yeah? Binomial PD means uh, probability distributions. So we want to find uh, Px equal to 5 to see whether it is equal to uh, 0 0.16807 or not. So let's go to binomial PD, probability distributions. Here they ask us whether we would like to have a list of the probabilities or just want to have a single probabilities. In this case, uh, we just want to know the probabilities of x equals to 5. Therefore, we just choose 2 uh, variable. I'm going to show you the list later. So let's go to uh, number 2 variable. So here they ask us uh, what is the x. So in this case, x equal to 5. So we choose 5. And then so what's the number of trials? Uh, we have uh, 5 trials. Uh, 5 trials. And then uh, P is the probabilities of success. The probability of success is 0 0.7, 0 0.7 equals equal. Okay, so this is the probabilities. And then we found that this is correct. When the probabilities of success is 0 0.7, then Px equal to 5 is equal to 0 0.16807. Now, just now in the calculator, we see that we have another options called list. 
So let's see what it is. So in the calculators, we go to options and then select and uh, we go to binomial probability distributions. And these times let us choose one, the list. Now for list, they will give us the options to find the probabilities for different values of x. So let's say we would like to find the values of x for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So there's all the possibilities and then let's uh, press equal. So we have five trials and the probabilities of success is 0 0.7. So let's press equal. So now they give us the probabilities for x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. From here we can see that the probabilities where x equal to 5 is 0 0.168. Okay, it has to round up the number to three significant figures. So how about question two? Question two, we find the probabilities where x greater than three, and we know that this is equals to probabilities x equal to four plus probabilities x equal to five, okay? So let's check. Uh, probabilities x equal to four is 0 0.3601. Uh, so it has round up to four significant figure, so which is correct, okay? Yeah? So when x equal to four, the probability is equals to 0 0.3601, 3601, yes. And then uh, when x equal to five, the probability is 0 0.16807, yes. So this answer is also correct. Yep, so that's how we use the Casio FX570 EX calculators to check our answer for the binomial probabilities distributions.